Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of September 2nd through the 8th. Um, and for today's reading, we're gonna be working with my Halloween themed cards. I'll be working with the Halloween Oracle, the Halloween Tarot, and the Wisdom of the House of Night cards. Okay, so let's start with, um, get them all situated. <laughs> Let's start with the earth signs. So my earthy signs, you guys got the king of pentacles, joy, rejoicing in the present, and the high priestess of earth. So earth signs are filling your earth element this week, okay? Um, Virgo season. So Virgo is an earthy sign. Um, so all, of, all about the Virgo season for you guys. Some of you guys may be celebrating birthdays this month. Um, some of you guys may be just really feeling, probably woke up today since today's Monday, probably woke up today feeling just really pumped, really connected with yourself, really connected with the earth and really grounded. Um, the joy card is reminding you to stay in the present this week. Okay. Don't worry about stuff from last week or last month. Don't worry about stuff in the future tense. We really want to just get you to focus on the present moment. And when you're focusing on the present, you are grounded. High Priestess of Earth too is the same thing. So you're utilizing your energy, your, your intuition, your earthy vibes, and, um, and allowing yourself to kind of go with the flow with the days this week. But stay in the present moment is a challenge for you guys. Because probably as analytical people, you guys are always looking for forward into the future wanting to be prepared for what's to come. King of Pentacles um, vibe is showing abundance coming your way this week. Really feeling good with the finances. You're really feeling like you got a footing on everything. Um, I feel like the King of Pentacles is just kind of saying, um, you know, overall, you're in a good spot energetically. This is going to be a really great week for you guys. Really abundant, fruitful. Um, allow yourself to enjoy it and live in the moment literally this week you guys don't worry about all that other stuff my air signs so we have six of ghosts or six of cups trick-or-treat mischief and play and strength so this week for my um air signs i'm seeing that there is mischief and play is kind of making me feel like that matched with the six of cups that there can be some um some a little bit of drama coming up this week with some friends, okay? Now, this could be really innocent. There could be some people from the past coming back in your life this week with that Six of Cups, my air sign. So maybe some of you are reconnecting with old friends or an ex of some sort, or someone might be trying to get back in touch with you. Um, but the mischief and play is, is kind of saying like they have the masks on. So be very careful with someone's true intentions this week, okay? That's really making me feel like they're, that someone might approach you as if they're being genuine and they really do want to reconnect with you. But keep in mind your intuition on the matter. And strength is kind of saying hold, hold strength within yourself be strong during this connection some of you are dealing with exes who may be trying to reconnect and you may find yourself trying to fall like you're falling back for them and you know that you're just you shouldn't that that's no good for you anymore um so be strong and firm and assertive this week um but also be mindful that not everybody is who they seem okay so i feel like it's just a gentle warning for my air signs not all of you guys will resonate with that but i feel like there's going to be a few of you that will watch this will be like oh my god <laughs> so just be assertive and just be very mindful of someone's true intentions and what your intuition is telling you. If you're not feeling like that connection is genuine, trust your intuition. Okay, um, for my fire signs, you guys have the eight of ghosts or the eight of cups. You have ghost, regret, and beauty. I really, when, like when I saw these cards come up for, for you, fire signs, I really was feeling that some of you guys are literally feeling regrets. Regrets for not taking advantage of something. Someone maybe have recently walked out of your life um, or a project was just kind of not, you weren't paying much attention to a certain project. Or something, something has le left or you know pretty much exited your life um, recently. And I feel like there's regrets because maybe you could have spent a little bit more 
more time, a little bit more energy on that person or that subject or that, you know, that topic or whatnot. And so maybe you're feeling regrets on wanting to revisit that area or that person or that experience. Um, the beauty card is also telling me for this week to really allow yourselves to see the details and everything and everybody around you and every encounter that you have this week. Pay attention to the details and the beauty in life. You don't always have to see things black and white. Sometimes it's good to look at things from the gray area perspective. Um, and then also Eight of Cups, if you're really feeling that regret and, and whatnot, you can't live in the past, okay, fire signs? If there's some of you guys who are feeling that, um, you're really being guided to move forward from it and see the beauty in the situation. I know it's really hard when you're not feeling connected or you're just, maybe you're just having doubts about your decision that you made, but you gotta see the silver lining in every situation and there is always a silver lining. So some of you guys are feeling it hard. Some of you guys are probably feeling <laughs> pretty regretful about not, taking advantage of something when you had the opportunity, but understand that there will be more chances later on. And also if you do choose to reconnect with that person that maybe you just didn't connect with, um, that Eight of Cups is kind of also saying like, if it's done, it's done. And sometimes you have to leave it in the past, okay? And then my water signs. So we have the Six of Pumpkins or the Six of Pentacles, the Death card, the Eternal Cycle begins here. And we have honesty. So I feel like this is like, death is change and transformation. Honesty is like our true integrity coming out in the way that we have our energetic exchanges with people this week. So water signs, you may be guided to, as you're having these energetic connections, and I, when I say energetic connections, it's me, I mean, when you're having talks with people, when you're communicating with people with that six of pentacles, it's like what you're giving, you are receiving. It's an energetic exchange. Um, I feel like you are going to be called to, tr to be more truthful. So water signs, that can be sometimes a little bit scary for us because we always want to make sure we're making everybody happy. Um, so this might be a week of transformation where you tell yourself, I'm no longer going to put myself in situations that I'm going to regret something later. And so that might be a challenge for us. And I say us because me, myself included, that sometimes we have to speak up or sometimes we have to express our opinion or show our stance on a topic, and it may not resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with ourselves and we know we're being true with ourselves and we're being honest, then that's all that matters. And your exchange, your energetic exchange with whether these are your, your clients that you're reading for or people who are just coming to you for advice, you gotta be really, you gotta be real. You gotta be honest with them. So be transformative this week, you guys. Don't be afraid to, to come out and be honest and brutally honest if you have to. You can't expect everybody to be on your team, okay? Um, but overall, you guys, I feel like the energy for a lot of us is personal workings. We have a lot of personal things that we gotta, we gotta tap into. So everybody's kind of dealing with their own thing this week. I feel like it's gonna be a productive week energetically. I just feel like we're all gonna have, like I said, our own focuses and <laughs> our own things that we gotta deal with. Some of us are dealing with um, the energies of other people, so my water signs definitely are. And then as well as the, um, the uh, air signs, you're definitely working with other people, um, people from the past coming back. My fire signs may be rekindling stuff from the past. So a lot of you guys are gonna be seeing past connections coming back. Um, some of you may, may be reconnecting with exes. Some of you guys may just be dealing with a lot of energetic exchanges between yourself and someone else. Um, but it looks like uh, my air, fire, and water signs are gonna be doing that. But my earthy signs, you guys are just feeling pumped this week you guys are not really dealing with your energetic exchanges with other people you guys are really just focusing on yourself so <laughs> you guys are going to be strong this week so if you see your other fun you know your other friends and stuff struggling a little bit maybe you you're going to be more of the rock for your friendship circles or your family circles or even your relationships so be kind to others um, as we are kind of going through our own little weird things with other people um, have a beautiful week you guys i will talk to you later and i should be back midweek like around um, wednesday for a midweek energy reading and until then love you guys talk to you later bye